telemetry lost. Hey, what is up, everyone? So, uh, soft mounting your motors. Does it work? And that's what I wanted to find out and jump on the hype with everybody. So, first off, just warning here, I am going to turn my quad on in the house with propellers. Don't recommend doing this, but this is to show you the vibrations I'm getting. So go ahead and listen. Engine disabled. Engine, engine disabled. So as you can hear there, right when I arm the quad, even though it's at a min throttle of 1060, it has some pretty violent vibrations. So first thing I did was go ahead and put some double-sided Gorilla Tape, which is rubberized and about three to four thicknesses of electrical tape. I went ahead and mounted it on the arm and then put the motors back on to do a test. And so as you can see here, I've sped this up. So you can uh, see my first attempt at soft mounting. Okay, so after I finished up all four arms, I went ahead and retested it to check for oscillations and vibrations here. Let's go ahead and listen. <laughs> I noticed it got a little smoother through the throttle, but when I turned it on, it still was oscillating. So I'm going to show you what I did to fix that. I went ahead and ordered some 3D printed TPU spacers that goes between the motors and the screws that separate it from the frame and helps uh, dampen the vibrations. So I already did these two, and I'm about to do these ones for you. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how I did it and what products I used. So first, I did add some tape that is a uh, gorilla tape it's a little thicker has some uh, give to it also I do suggest using some Loctite not the permanent stuff because you may have to remove your motors later but this is important since uh, you're not going to be tightening it down all the way also you're going to need some longer screws usually you're using six millimeters so you're going to have to go up to eight and um, I was going to use these washers at the bottom of the screws, but since I'm using two of the TPU 3D printed spacers, you don't need those, but it's optional. These right here are the uh, TPU spacers, and what I'm going to do is apply just one layer of rubberized double-sided tape to them and uh, cut around them to shape them out. So once you're done cutting around it and shaping it out and getting rid of all the excess uh, double-sided tape, you want to go ahead and grab an X-Acto blade. And we're going to want to cut out the center circle. This is just so that the uh, shaft of the motor doesn't rub against it or no dirt is collected on the tape. That can uh, affect your motors later on. then you're going to 
going to want to go ahead and just cut slits where the screws are going to pop through. That will be enough. Once you put some pressure with the screw, it will pop right through the slit and you can clear off the uh, access tape once you do that. So now it is time to remove the motor. So just go ahead and take the old bolts out. These are going to be the uh, six millimeter, and you're just going to put those to the side. We're not going to be using those. All right. Now you can see here that I used that double-sided tape before to try to dampen it, and it really just got stuck in the motor and uh, collecting dirt and in reality it was too thin once you actually tighten the screws down to really give you any extra vibration dampening so I think maybe using two layers of that and don't peel the double sided sticky tape uh, shielding off might work but I don't recommend doing what I did here so I'm just going to toss that aside and get these new ones installed for you. Alright, once that is done, go ahead and grab your 3D printed spacer with the double sided tape already applied to it and remove the film that is covering the adhesive. And then just apply that to the arm with the adhesive facing down so it sticks to the arm and not the motor. This solves the problem that I had earlier with the double sided tape sticking into the motor grooves. By placing the 3D spacer, it is harder and you know it's uh, plastic so it's not going to push through, but still gives it that gelatin effect with the double sided tape being rubber so it dampens those vibrations. Then go ahead and apply the second one to the bottom of the arm. The reason I'm applying two of them is I'm using 8mm screws and with the 4mm arm and each one of these being roughly a millimeter and a half with double sided tape on them, it gives me just enough threads to actually stick into the arm or into the motor. Here you see me just pushing the screws through the arms and through the tape. You gotta push a little hard to get through the slits that we cut earlier. Once the threads appear through the top though, you can just go ahead and uh, remove some of the gunk and the sticky goo from the tape. And this is where you're going to want to go ahead and grab that Loctite and uh, just dribble a little bit of it on the threads you don't want to put too much just enough to coat it then just go ahead and grab your motor align it up with the screws and then just go ahead and start tightening down the screws into the motor until they are fully seated. With these spacers installed and having that rubber between the motor and the arm, the screws themselves won't get completely tight. And that's why we have the lock tight on there so they don't come loose. They will feel snug, but if you snug keep tightening them down all the way you're just going to break through the TPU so you want to be careful about that and just every time before you fly it's always a good idea to check your screws and make sure they're tight anyways and you can add four if you want I'm just putting two on for mine all right now I got that one finished I'm gonna go ahead and get this one done as well and once I'm done I'll show you the completed product 
and just like that it is all done so as you can see here I got all four mounted with the uh, TPU spacers with the double sided tape between it so uh, let's go ahead and test it Wow, so right off the bat, I can tell this is quieter, smoother, it's not oscillating on the table. So, I have to say, this worked. And uh, I was actually a little surprised at how much better it did than just the tape by itself. So, uh, hopefully you guys liked it and enjoy this quick flight of mine. Oh, well that makes for a good test I would say. I'm gonna make sure that motor's good. <laughs> Alright, well I have to say that soft mounting is a success. Everything sounds a lot quieter. Everything is uh, smoother even after my punch outs, um, after flipping or just everything I'm doing. So good stuff. I would uh, go ahead and say go for it. It's worth it.